May 2020, this is going to be the <clears throat> you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini. Hi. I am excited to let you know that North Node, South Node will be going into Gemini Sagittarius as of tomorrow. So look forward to a shift in your energy, especially, okay? If I have time, I will bring you guys that information on channel two. Hi, guys. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are, subscribe to the tribe now. This is going to be, again, your you versus them reading. We're going to be picking one oracle card represented by the Ask uh, 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 Your Guides Oracle Day. Um, it's going to represent a situation or energy between you and a person that you are connected with. You know what that connection is about. I'm just here to give you the messages I can let you know right now that I did pre-shuffle. Um, I have yours. Um, just like with all the readings, if I see any soulmate energy, I will clarify with sacred soulmates. Um, the Oracle deck, everything you need from me is below. Um, did I say hi? If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed, did I say that? I keep re repeating it. I don't remember what the hell I just said. All right. We're going to be getting Divine Feminine Energy with the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. We're going to be getting Divine Masculine Energy with the Gilded Tarot, the Classic Deck. And they actually are by the exact same um, author. Very, very popular in the Tarot community. Um, so the, the energy of these cards is, um, you know, you don't have to take it that literal. Um, if you want any information on, um, okay, masculine and, fem and feminine energy, there is a reference guide below, Gemini, but just to let you know, you are masculine. You are a masculine energy zodiac sign, regardless of whether you're male or female, okay? So, I want to say to you that I have been <clears throat> in just tapping into some of your energy, honestly, I know that energy is about to shift for you. Even doing the what aren't they telling you readings, there seems to be an energy present of um, new love. And so when I saw your oracle card, I wasn't surprised. Partnerships and love. That is the card of two. So when we talk about the two and tarot, we're talking about duality we're talking about connections. We're talking about initiations. We're talking about integrating. A different type of integration than the world. A different type of integration than the lovers. But we're talking about combining forces. So if you have the world card and you have the two of cups. Or, you know, it's about it. each one of the suits deals with that two energy, obviously, in a different thing. But I really see partnerships and love as this being a very two of cups type of energy. We're going to go ahead and read the description. But first, we're going to go ahead and get the energy. We will be combi combining. We will be getting three cards on the divine feminine side of things. And three cards on the divine masculine side of things. And then we will be rounding it off with the top of the deck energy as well as one romance angel oracle card. Let's go. Divine Feminine for Gem oh, Gemini. All right. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get the cards out. Well, we got the Three of Cups. I don't know what she got on. I look like she's playing some banjos and the flute and some more stuff. Then we got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And, okay. All right, Spirit. And then we have, what is that? The Three of Wands. All right, let's flip for the top. We have the star. Hope, healing, and optimism is our main objective here. So let's see. What am I feeling? Well, first of all, there's some celebration. There is, I don't know really how much coming together you can do right now. I think about 
going somewhere. I think about dates. I think about, but you know, Gemini's, you have a way of connecting. No one can connect and integrate and, and, and network like a Gemini. So with that being said, you are hella like heavy on social media right now. Video chatting is very, very popular in your life anyway, but the stock has risen on video chats. You are all of the little applications, you know, you are connecting and getting it in. I feel an energy of um, a new surge of energy going towards you guys, whether you're male or female. Um, I feel like uh, this is going to be your year. You have 18 months to show up and show out. This energy is out of Cancer Capricorn, finally, and moving into um, an energy of you where we're going to be, yes, every zodiac sign has negative and positive traits, but I really do feel like, um, as my girl said, um, um, True Brilliance in her video about this energy, shout out to True, um, she's talking about using your intellect, using your brain. There's going to be a lot of further education at that. And I, and I feel like, you know, and to a certain extent, students of love revisiting the topic of love that possibly was tarnished for you in the past coming into a new education. Because there was a miseducation of Gemini, right? But now there's going to be a new education, okay? Um, your nature spirits, known as runners, are working to introduce you to a wonderful new partnership to fulfill, fulfill your heart's desire, Gemini. Whether areas of business, friendship, or romantic love, these practical guides are leading you directly toward the appropriate person. Do you hear me? to best support your soul at this time. Follow your heart. As they strive to connect you with the right associations, be open to others, especially whom you meet by chance. I don't feel like you have um, a problem with that. You guys, I love this card for you and this energy because you are perfect for networking. And it doesn't matter whether you meet someone by chance. So I do feel like that Three of Cups is talking about that. We have two threes here, so... We're definitely um, talking about being popular. You're going to be Miss or Mr. Popularity, really getting out there. As we start to open up and things start to uh, shift, you're going to be out there forging new relationships. I, but I read this in your energy prior to now. Um, I don't remember what the you versus them reading was for the first through the fifth at the top of April. But go and look at that. I did link it below and see if that resonates. But, of course, we do have that seven of pentacles. Um, there is assessment going on. There is a, an energy on the divine feminine side of kind of looking at what they have laid down, looking at what has been planted. Um, you know, it's going to be a great time for both sides of this energy to really move into what makes Gemini great. Um, there's going to be a lot of new people coming into your life, okay? And then we have the Three of Wands. So there's going to be an, an energy of exploration here. So I really do feel like this is good energy for you. Um, there's someone that could be here. Partnerships and love, this is what's going to happen, but... Hope, healing, and optimism is here, and it, you're going to start to shed that old you. This feels like a personal reading, but you're going to start to shed that old Gemini and really move into the uh, maturation, maturation of Gemini. And I don't mean that um, in a bad way. I mean, that is fantastic. People that know you ain't going to know you no more. People that have seen you before are not going to even recognize you. It's going to be a new pep in your step. There's going to be a new tone in your voice. Show me for divine masculine. This feels like a personal reading or a general, re a general energy until we start to see what's going on with the romance angel. So, yes, on the divine uh, masculine side, there is a three of pentacles of working together. There is a page of cups. You're going to meet this person at work, possibly. Oh, we ain't no other mm -mm like you. Look at that. 
You're going to meet this person at work. There's going to be a, po a possibility. Pages wants to bring a message of love, of initiation. Let's go out. Let's go for a cup of coffee uh, when we can. Let's meet in the park. Let's put on our mask and social distance. Let's do what we have to do to remain safe. Listen, I've seen people get very, okay, very, very, very creative online. We do have temperance. So this particular person could be someone you know. When I'm looking at temperance for you guys, I'm feeling like this person has a lot of options. This is maybe someone you know. Um, I don't necessarily feel like this is a renewal, but again, we're going to get the Romance Angel Oracle cards and find out. But temperance feels like this person is trying to realize now that they need to come into their partnership and love. Um, so you're exploring and re-examining on a divine feminine side this exploration of new love and allowing that new energy to come in. And this person on the divine masculine side is probably going to be somebody that you work with because I do see this three of pentacles. You're going to meet this person at work in some type of team building um, thing or something with work or uh, public community service. Then we have temperance. So maybe it was a situation where you've been seeing this person for a while. Um, they've come into your life and there's an energy of not wanting to do that or go there because this is a work relationship. In reality, it's not accidental that you find yourself attracted to certain people. Your runners are placed in your path so that you can meet. Okay. Invite these energetic nature spirits to continue to direct you to others who are significant in your soul path. Their message to you is to relax. We will make all of the necessary introductions that you, that you seek. So listen here. The top of the deck for them is the seven of cups. Now this person has options, but there's something about Gemini. Divine Feminine, this person is interested in you. And maybe you have put them at bay because of something in their behavior with this Seven of Cups. Maybe you do know them and they've been trying to get at you for a while, but maybe they're ready to step it up now. I do see a page of cups. I see that, you know, maybe you know them in passing and now you're going to start to work with them um, more closely. Mm -hmm. Let's get the romance in here and see what's going on. But there's definitely a behavioral element on the divine masculine side where Gemini, you know, you are um, obviously masculine energy. So with you being masculine energy, it could be in reverse where the masculine is taking a look at you and you, it's the same thing though. You know them and they're trying to show you that they're serious now. Show me spirit. Okay, so we have what? Wedding? What in that whole hell? Is the person married? Oh my god. See, every time, every time. Show me spirit. Is that the reason why this damn seven of cups and temperance is here on this side? Oh my goodness. Now we ain't doing none of this now. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. No ratchetness in this reading. It was so positive. Show me, spirit. Keep an open mind. Okay. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Top of the deck, though, is codependency. So one side definitely has some addictions going on. That. There's a wedding aspect or a marriage aspect here. There is an energy here of one side not wanting to move forward with the other side, and there's a restriction. But Spirit is telling you guys, you're, so there's hope on the divine feminine side. The divine masculine side is, is coming in with the seven of cups. So, Feminines, you're looking at the masculine as the bad guy here. <laughs> I hate to say it. 
and you have put a boundary up because of restrictions or things on this person's side and you maybe you want you have done this in the past and now you have to bring yourself out of that maybe this was a situation where you had an affair with someone at work and now you're realizing you don't want to do that anymore underneath there is the soul mate i'm going to go ahead and pull a card then um from the sacred soul mate whenever i see it because i feel like this is partnerships and love. So maybe this side, uh, this masculine side is leaving their person. Um, there's still a level of you guys making a good team despite the odds. And the odds are bad here. Now, and I'm not going to necessarily say bad, Gemini, but it definitely is a baggage situation here. Repression. Someone does not express how they truly feel. So I do feel like they're... Is two things going on. Someone hasn't expressed this. And heart chakra. Awaken your heart and center and let love in. Well, I feel like this is someone that, you know, either side is definitely coming in strong. Because feminine side, although you are assessing and you're trying to be courageous and, and explore and move on. It could be now that you're still hopeful that you're going to find your person. And I know that there's some type of behavioral issue on this side. And you could be projecting outward that they're married. And now it's time for you to go and find your prince. And keep your partnerships and love open. And stop, and stop this affair. That's one way to look at it. Um, prior to us getting these Romance Angel Oracle cards in there, though, that energy still applies. So for those of you who do, does not um, resonate with this whole, um, this whole marriage and codependency type of scenario, again, there is an energy of wanting to take it to the next level regardless of, you know, of allowing this. This person is in your life for a reason. And I think that that's how I'm, where I'm going to leave it because we can go so many different directions with it, with this energy here. Um, I'm going to leave it there, okay? So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. You know, I do see hopefulness and I do see that someone is thinking about their options and really trying to decide what to do. But ultimately, this person is in your life for a reason. That's where I'm going to leave it. And that's where we're going to stop it. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I am going to leave you with this wedding and keep an open mind. Um, you're being guided. You know, partnerships and love. This person is in your life for a reason. Hopefully you guys will figure it out. It seems to be complicated. But Spirit is saying, take a look at the person. We're either going to remove that person and bring you your person. Or you need to take another look at this person, okay? See you guys. Wherever you fall, Gemini, you will see me in a couple of days when I bring the What Aren't They Telling You from the time frame of the 3rd through the 9th. And I will see you in a couple of days when I start getting those uploaded, okay? Bye, Gems. <laughs>